Pro here now, part of it fits into that as an aspect of the teaching medium where people come up for a week and it's a gathering of permaculturalists. But at its core, it's a celebration of being human and being human in an environment that is a bountiful environment. That if we really truly understand how to create relationship, a sustainable relationship with what's around us, then it's, it's a paradise. Like what is permaculture? And to me, the word that encompasses it all, it's relationship. That's just, I mean, that, and that explodes, of course, but yeah, permaculture is not so much about this thing and that thing, but about how these things relate and how they can relate in that way. That everything operates through relationship. That the world is based on relationship. There's nothing that occurs that isn't, nothing happens that's not an outgrowth of some relationship. And that's one of, to me, the beauty of permaculture. It's not this unidirectional, or it's not like, here's, this, here's, the, here's the problem, here's the solution, slap it all over the world. So Forest Garden mimics a forest, but then um, uses that structure and those ideas to create a perennial food production. Permaculture is based on experience, tradition, this and that, but then, yeah, it's all, there's always this element of rechecking, reobserving, what's working, what's not working. Any more thoughts around forest gardens before we start in the work process? And of course, we can keep discussing as we do it. For sure here, so it's really We are spreading compost around on top of the cardboard sheet mulch in order to conserve moisture and have a downward drift of nutrients into the root system of the tree. I don't, I don't pluck them off and if that's what you mean, you can like deny them there. Permaculture is uh, a relational methodology for developing human sustainability, and in that is a way to manifest and build from the understanding that everything is interconnected. Design system for creating ecologically based human habitations that include, of course, a food landscape, but it, it, it's much bigger than that also. It's a way for civilization to develop and descend its consumption from a unsustainable level to a place where human civilization can sustain its own populations as well as all the creatures on the planet. Permaculture is about looking at nature and connecting with her and replicating that as much as we can, as gently as we can, for the good of humanity. A lot of permaculture is really practical skills, they're common sense skills, and we're accustomed to a life where we haven't had to rely on those, but I think that the way that the world is evolving, that we are going to need to really be engaged in those skills. It really is a beauty way. It is really about walking with mindfulness and care for the earth. May all be beautiful behind me as I wander. that they're going to need to be able to be very sustainable in and of themselves, in their small community, in their own garden, community, landscape. We're, we're all products of a culture that puts us into a stupor. All of us grew up in a certain re, you know, cultural reality, and we think this is, I mean, this is real, but, but, so we've really got to wake up out of our cultural stupor. We've got to make a connection between food in ourselves and reality. You know, most of our food in this culture, it's, it's based on, on trucking, cheap trucking, you know. So certainly as the fossil fuel prices go up and they are gonna go up and up,
up and not come down. You know, people will start to think, huh, maybe I should change some of my grass over to garden. You know, I mean, that makes just good sense. Uh, we call grass a delinquent landscape, a delinquent landscape. So, you know, people are going to have to do that because they're not going to be able to afford the prices that trucked in food is, is going to be. That's the beginning. You mentioned that permaculture is about permanent agriculture and about permanent culture and designing and building sustainable human settlements and it's about building community. How we could make this last and be sustainable and feed us for a long, long time. Well, we could just use it up, you know, today with all these crowds of people that have come to the door. So you guys want to contribute and help to your survival and your friend's survival? Or should we just do a mad free-for-all and just, you know, on to the next place until we're groveling in the dirt or something, you know? And I'm so aware of what's going around me, and I'm so aware of, the, of, of, of when I make choices, what falls out from that choices, that I can act with, with total consciousness, and I can interact with my, my, my environment in a way that's sustainable for both of us. Because that's what permaculture is about, and that's one thing I love about permaculture. It's not like nature and humans, and let's save nature and screw humans, or let's save humans and screw nature. It's like, no, we're all the same. There's no differentiation between nature and humans. And so it's all about having a happy, healthy human population and a happy, healthy world and how we all co we can create that together. So the destination I'm going for is that world that is sustainable, a, a world that has many beauty in it and much things are growing, um, diversity, there's opportunities for everybody. Llama is a valid step in the direction of, of, of sustainability. You know, every child can eat. I mean, come on. You know, what do I want? I want every child to be able to have a, you know, go to, go to sleep in a warm, dry bed with a, with a little food in its stomach. You know, and to me, that's not, that's not impossible. I mean, that's, that's totally possible. And I don't believe there will ever be a perfect world, and I don't know if I'd ever want to live in a perfect world. You know, I just want people to be able to have freedom and have a full tummy. Islam is about engaged spirituality, that's the type of spiritual community we are. It's not so much a retreat from the world, but more of a how engagement with the world and how we can be, uh, create, how can we manifest or create this divine experience or this most potential of ourselves in the world. So that's sort of what Lama is about. It's through our relationship that we manifest the divine. It's, it's through relating to others and the type of relationships we create in our community that manifests or brings out this aspect of divinity. And to me, that's how why permaculture and, and spirituality are so linked because it's all about relationship. revolutionary, radical things you can do now is to grow your own food. I encourage everybody to grow their own food if you really want to have a revolution.